I think it's great for Joe Biden because apparently he was not doing well last night. So if there really are no results or when the results come out, it, it just becomes very secondary. It just gets lost in the State of the Union and the impeachment vote. So Biden basically gets to go on to New Hampshire without suffering a consequential loss um, in Iowa. Um, I think for the other candidates, they're all going to probably claim some type of victory in some part of, you know, of the voting. But I mean, Iowa's also been, it's always been the place where you just were able to springboard into New Hampshire and the next phase and get your fundraising going and just getting up a speed, a lot of speed politically. And, you know, it, it's almost as if Iowa didn't happen. What they're going to do is that if, if for some reason, you know, Trump would lose, you know, the, the election, they're going to look back at Iowa and they're going to say, see, you know, the Democrats and the Ukrainians and the crowd strike or crowdsource or whatever it is, you know, you know, they were able to do this. But, you know, one thing really, you know, one thing really has nothing to do with the other. But I think it's definitely going to be fodder for um, questioning results of, um, you know, of the elections. And by the way, I think you're going to find Democrats, you know, doing the same thing. I mean, it, it's, it's what we're going through. People have lost faith in institutions. I don't think it's a washout for everybody. I mean, I, I think that, you know, I think that Mayor Pete gets to say that, well, at least he is saying that he won. I mean, we'll see if he, we'll see if he did. Of course, there's three different ways to win um, the way this works. I think Amy Klobuchar, because people were sort of counting, you know, counting her out. And if, if she did finish in the top three, you know, I think that will be, you know, that will be very helpful to her. But I think for the most part, it is a washout. And what's unfortunate, it's just so unfortunate because I really feel badly, I feel badly for the candidates, obviously, but for the staff, for the volunteers, for the people who go to these caucuses um, and get very excited about it, um, it's just very sad. We just don't need these caucuses. You know, the interesting thing about Iowa, so everyone's fighting over these Iowa caucuses, and I don't even think Iowa is a battleground state. It's the, the Democrats are ceding the state to Trump. So, like, who cares? What was interesting about the Iowa caucuses, just like New Hampshire was, it gave candidates a chance to exercise retail politics. And I think, as I said before, I think if Governor Bullock and uh, Governor Hickenlooper and some other people would have had a chance to be on that debate stage, they would have probably done well in, in places like Iowa and New Hampshire. They're going to say Iowa's a bad place to start. They're going to say it's a, the caucuses, is a, it's a bad system. They're going to say that Iowa's not representative of America because it's not diverse. But it's very interesting. When they say that, I say, but Barack Obama won you know, one Iowa. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think, the, I don't think the problem is starting in Iowa. I think the problem is the caucus system. I think it's an, it's an ominous beginning. I mean, that's what, that's what I was thinking. Um, it's, it's bad. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, you wonder, like, it's like a voodoo thing. Um, but it's, it's, it's certainly, it's certainly ominous. Well, Bernie Sanders gonna, should win New Hampshire. So the question is, depending how Elizabeth Warren did in Iowa, can Elizabeth Warren take a defeat in Iowa, a defeat in, in New Hampshire, which is next door to her state, and then move on. And then, of course, the big question is Michael Bloomberg.